Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Wanted to show you the visible satellite loop. As you can see across the area, we still have some smoke out there. This smoke, as you can see, a lot of it's coming from the Klondike fire. First, it's going offshore and pu pushing off into the Pacific. A lot of this is also fog that's moving up the coastline here. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna see the winds cutting out to the west and northwest and then kick back in. And what that means is, unfortunately, a lot of this smoke may fill into the Illinois Valley, then eventually Applegate Valley and then potentially into parts of the Rogue Valley overnight tonight into Wednesday. There's also smoke that's been moving in from the south to the north across parts of Siskiyou County, and that's been moving into the Mount Shasta City area. And we still have some smoke out there from the Watson Creek fire, but you notice that smoke is moving off to the east and northeast at this time. So outside of the smoke and the haze, we've got hot temperatures, or we did today, here in Medford, we're expecting highs in the 80s and 90s, so we'll call it hot once again for Wednesday. The problem is we have a better chance of seeing a little bit more smoke and haze moving in. There's another cool area, upper level low, that's going to be diving down to the south and southeast, and this will help cool down our temperatures a little bit, potentially into Thursday and Friday. On the upper air graphic, we can see what's up. There's that cool pocket of air as it dips in. So we got a little bit of a trough developing later Wednesday, but especially Thursday. And then that trough is going to head off to the east, so we could warm up again a little bit towards the weekend. Our forecast for the coast, we've got the fog, low clouds. There could even be some patchy, very light rain or drizzle overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Your highs tomorrow generally in the 50s and 60s. Again, there will be some areas of smoke and haze as well moving inland. We have mainly clear conditions. However, some of that smoke and haze will start to fill into parts of our area. If not tonight, even into tomorrow, there's a better chance. Our highs will be in the 80s and 90s. You can see lows generally in the 40s and 50s. I have a low temperature of 57 and a high of 92 in Medford, 48-84 for you, Mount Shasta City. East of the Cascades, low temperatures generally in the 30s and 40s overnight. We will have some areas of uh, smoke and also some haze for tomorrow. Sunshine mixing with clouds. We could see a little bit more buildup in those cumulus clouds during the day, especially down towards Modoc County. There is even a possibility for an isolated late day shower or storm, mainly over Modoc County. Otherwise, we could see temperatures generally in the 70s and 80s for highs. I have Crater Lake, though, at 47 and 61. Seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. We have temperatures generally in the 80s and 90s in the seven day. I do have some areas of smoke and also some haze around. Outside of that, more sunshine mixing in with some clouds. Lows will be in the 40s and 50s overall. And for the Klamath Basin, temperatures in the 70s and 80s for highs and lows generally in the upper 30s through the 40s. We have sunshine around mixing in with some clouds. There will be some areas of smoke and haze possible. Mount Shasta City, your highs generally in the 80s and lows generally in the 40s. Sunshine around mixing in with some clouds. Again, there's going to be some areas of smoke and haze at times for the coast. Going to have some fog and low clouds, especially at night and during the morning hours. There could even be some very light rain or drizzle. Your highs will be in the 50s and 60s and lows generally in the 40s and 50s.